Hi, welcome to the Watermark Training Centre. My name is David Lawler and I'd like to spend a few moments taking you through how the coffee bean grinder works and how to get the most of it for your business. To get a full and even extraction of flavour from your coffee bean, the grinder blades need to be correctly set for the bean that you are using. Correct setting or calibration allows the hot water for an espresso shot of about 30 mils to flow through the coffee in about 25 seconds. The pour of the espresso should be constant and steady and what is often referred to as taking on the appearance of a mouse's tail. The dosage chamber is located here. This chamber acts as a holding area for the ground coffee. To fill or dose the group handle, pull the lever once for a single shot, twice for a double shot. For most coffee blends, the standard weight for one shot of coffee is 7 grams. However, this can vary somewhat depending on the blend and roast of the coffee you are using. Your coffee supplier will most likely be able to advise you regarding the optimal weight for the coffee that you choose. We recommend that you use the dosing chamber where possible as this will give you consistent, accurate measurements when dosing. To use the dosing chamber correctly, the ground coffee needs to cover all segments in the chamber. This ensures that each segment is full with the correct amount of coffee when the lever to dose the group handle is pulled. Level the coffee off after dosing and tamp firmly. When tamping with a hand tamper, place the group handle on the counter and tamp horizontally with firm pressure. Release the pressure and polish by twisting the tamper clockwise. The surface of the ground coffee should appear smooth. If the coffee comes out too slowly, giving an extraction time of over 30 seconds, then you should check the following things. Firstly, Check if a different coffee bean has been put into the grinder. Using a different coffee bean may require an adjustment to the calibration of the grinder. Secondly, check to see if too much coffee has been dosed into the group handle. Putting too much coffee in can cause overpacking, making it difficult to achieve a correct and even extraction. Thirdly, check to see if the grind setting has been changed accidentally. It can be a good idea to make a mark on the dial indicating where the correct setting has been made. Finally, if the ambient temperature of the coffee making area has become more humid, this can affect the performance of brewing, causing a slower extraction time. If the coffee is coming out too fast or under 20 seconds, then ensure that the ground coffee dosed is fresh. Ground coffee left overnight begins to deteriorate and can result in a lower quality and faster extraction. If you are using the tamper which is attached to the grinder, place the group handle under the tamper and push up holding the tamper to get extra pressure. We recommend that the group handle is inserted directly into the group head for brewing without touching the ground coffee around the group handle. Use the cleaning brush on a daily basis to clean the group seal. Also, check to see if the beans have not been changed in the grinder or the settings have not been accidentally altered. Over time, the grinder blades begin to wear. If you notice the setting for your grinder needs to be made progressively finer over time, then you may need to change the blades. Your service engineer will advise you on the frequency of this. Making the grind finer will slow the extraction time and making the grind coarser will speed it up. Adjust the dial in small movements of one setting at a time and test the extraction time making sure that you have dosed the correct weight of coffee at that setting. You may need to use a small sensitive weighing scales if needed. It is important to remember that if you are making the grinder setting finer, then you will need to make sure that the grinder blades are turned on and running, so the coffee beans don't jam the grinder blades. I hope that you have found this useful, and if you have any questions, please drop us an email. Many thanks for watching.